Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the tasting nook and today I have something really fun to try. I have Gimbal's Assorted Cherry Gourmet Jelly Beans. Um, where was I the other day when I saw these? I was at a store. Oh, I think I was at um, Grocery Outlet Bargain Basement or however it's called. And I saw these and I've never seen just cherry jelly beans before. Oh, cherry jelly beans. And I thought... <coughs> Anywho, I was choking having some water. Okay, so I was at um, the grocery outlet the other day and I saw these and I'd never seen just cherry gourmet uh, beans together. Just assorted cherry flavor. So I'm not quite sure what assorted cherry means. Let's see if we can find out by reading this. It says assorted cherry gourmet jelly beans. Five calories per bean. Um, Nut-free, gluten-free, fat-free, antioxidant, vitamin C, contains cherry juice concentrate. So um, it says since uh, 1898, Gimbal's. So I can't remember what movie it is. It was like an 80s movie. They kept talking about going to Gimbal's. I wonder if it's the same Gimbal's. Anyway, um, let's see. What does it say about flavors? Because I'm wondering what nine different... Oh, here we go. There's a whole diagram. Can you guys see? Diagram. So I'm going to read to you what this is, and it says that there is uh, chocolate cherry, cherry cheesecake, cherry cola, cherry daiquiri, bean cherry, wild cherry, cherry vanilla, black cherry, and kiwi cherry. Kiwi cherry? What's kiwi cherry? That's scary. Um, let's see. Uh, Gimbal's Fine Candies of San Francisco, California. Why have I never heard of Gimbal's Candy? I mean, I only live like 100 miles from San Francisco right now, and whatever. Anyway, uh, made in the USA from the finest ingredients around the world. That's what it says right there. No high fructose corn syrup. Sugar, corn syrup, modified food, starch, dextrose, cherry juice, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors, cocoa powder, uh, color added, red 40, red 40, lake, yellow 5, yellow 6, Blue one, ascorbic acid, confectioner's glaze, canuba wax, and beeswax. This ain't none of your beeswax. Uh, it says, live a little. Each of the bite of Gimbal's candies a burst with irresistibility, delicious flavor. Irresistibly, irresistibly. Ir Sometimes I just have a hard time reading. Irresistibly, delicious flavor. Your satisfaction is guarantee your money back. Um, it says 19 pieces is a serving, and it says this is seven servings, seven servings, right, well, I guess it could be, um, how many ounces is this, this is seven ounces, so 198 grams, for those of you in the grams world, um, basically it's just sugar, it has zero protein, zero, 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 just carbs, and a little bit, of, five milligrams of sodium, so not that much, so, um, yeah, I think these were like, a buck ninety nine. They were super cheap. Anyway, you know who we got on town? Whoop whoop! Snippy snippy! All right, let's give these a snippy. It does have a zip, so I'm trying not to cut into the zip. It has little cut marks. Whoosh! I'm like a samurai with these. I love them. All right, let's see if we can get these open. And you know, my favorite part is the first sniff. Oh, that smells good, you guys. Okay, <coughs> I'm having a dry spot today. It's just water. <clears throat> I drank like four of these a day, which is 160 ounces. You can do the math. Anyway, back to this. Oh, you guys, those smell amazing. I got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Shocking. That smells so good. It smells like the Easter you always wanted without a Brock's licorice candy. Oh, Brock's. All right, here's what they look like. Trying not to spill them for you. Can you see them? Sort of. All right. So we got this little chart here. So I'm going to dump a couple out on the table. And I'm going to try to eat them according to the chart. So again, we have a little, a little chart here. So um, I don't know if I can sort these out. So it looks like 
I'm just going by what I see. Okay, so this looks like chocolate cherry because it's very, it's a very dark colored one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what it tastes like. Chocolate cherry. Oh, you guys. These are great. I'm not usually a jelly bean fan. Um, because jelly beans, let's face it, there's way too many surprises these days. You just want a nice flavored jelly bean. Um, if you're familiar, these are about jelly belly size. They're about the same size as a jelly belly. Okay, I think mm, it's a little bit chocolatey and it's a little bit cherry. I don't know what else to tell you about that. That's really good. Okay, so according to this, I believe this is a cherry cola as opposed to, yes, it's the lightest colored one other than the white one. So, cherry cola. That tastes more like a traditional cherry jelly bean. Oh, and then the background is cola. Who did these? These are kind of amazing, you guys. Wow. All right, what else we got here? Let's try... Sorry, not throwing them on the floor like I just did. I believe this one is cherry cheesecake. It has little spots on it. Can you see the little spots? All right, let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. That's my jam. Mmm. Oh, got a little tart there. That's my jam. It has like a vanilla, it has a cherry flavor. It has like a vanilla, cheesy background. Guys, so far, these are great. All right, I'm looking for one that is pink with red spots. I think that's it. And this one is supposed to be cherry daiquiri. It's cherry lime. I guess that would be a daiquiri, right? Mmm. Again, my blood sugar is going through the roof, but these are so good. Mmm. That was, mmm. All right, what else we got here? Let's see. Um, I'm trying to find a cherry kiwi. It's kind of a weird one. So I'm guessing... It's this one because it has like a kind of a green, a green spottedness to it. Mm. Mm. It's okay. If you like kiwi, you might like that. It's got a very floral taste to it, and that's very strange. All right, let's see. I think this one, no, let's see. There's that one and this one. I'm trying to see what the difference is. If you look at them, they're the same color, but this one is like um, opaque, and this one is almost a little bit see. This one is more see-through, and this one is more opaque. So I don't know. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, it's hard to tell. I think this one is a bean cherry as opposed to a black cherry. Maybe that's black cherry. I don't know. It's definitely cherry, and it's definitely good. Yeah. All right, and so this is the opposite one, I think. It's so hard to tell you guys. I'm trying to find out. There's Bing Cherry, Wild Cherry, and Black Cherry, and they all kind of look the same. So that was the opaque bright red one. Let's try the translucent red one. Maybe that's Bing. I don't know. Bing! It doesn't matter. It's good. So the Wild, the Black, and the Bing all kind of look the same. I'm thinking... This might be the black cherry because it's a little bit darker color. Mmm. 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 You guys, I keep looking at the bag, trying to figure out 
the color coding system here because some of them I mean it makes sense on here it totally looks like they're all different but uh, see if I can show you a handful what they look like on the hand is a little bit different I think the last one that we haven't tried is the cherry vanilla and I believe now what is the difference between the cheesecake hmm so this is where it gets to be difficult they're both white ish let me dump a couple more out here okay one is supposed to be cherry cheesecake is white with pink dots and cherry vanilla is white with pink dots i'm having a hard time i believe it's this one it's a little bit more white in color and this one is the cherry vanilla so let's try that Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. It is. It's different than the cheesecake. Hmm. It's very heavy on the vanilla. Like, ooh, like almost a little too much. Hmm. I know. This has been like 12 minutes of tasting gum, um, jelly beans, but I can tell you, you know, there are very few products that I would give a 10 to, and this is a 10. These are great. They were like two bucks. They were at the cheap grocery store, and I took a chance, and I'm telling you, if you can find the Gimbal's Cherry, if you like the cherry-ish flavor realm, you're going to be in love with this. There are no bad ones. There are no licorice ones. There are no weird violet flavors. There's no Barf. There's no Harry Potter. There's nothing. This is just good flavored ones. Um, some you might like more. I would have to say that my favorite was the Cherry Cheesecake or the Chocolate Cherry, surprisingly. And my least favorite was the kiwi, just because kiwis are weird. Like, um, sometimes they're really good, and sometimes they're just like, too too tart for me. So, there you go. All right, you guys. Uh, this is Gimbals. I'm Robert, and uh, this is Eudemonius Mark II. Doing a little taste test here. If you guys enjoyed this, um, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Come on back for more. Uh, we got some cooking videos coming up. I have been working on a, a video for a month, and it is finally done. I finally finished shooting it today. So see if I can get that edited out to you guys soon. Oh, it's going to take a while. But um, it has to do with drinking. Mm. So, all right, you guys. I'm Robert Jones, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.